Hello friends and crafters and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deepa Robbins from Designs by D and today I have another collection to share with you from Spellbinders. Now this is a new collection by a new artist, Kathy Holden, and she has a full collection of ephemera, um, some paper pads, sticker pads, um, a whole bunch of stamps. She's got a bunch of um, and she's got a, a, actually a layering stencil, a whole bunch of stuff that I have to show you today. There's a complete collection that you can pick from. You can choose just one thing, a few things, get what you like that kind of work together. I don't have everything here, but of what I have, I will show you. And today's video is basically showing you how to use these antique textile looking pieces to make cards on their own or to mix them with other Spellbinders products to create different looks. So let's go ahead and get started here and look at the collection. So this is the Kathy Holden Lee Market Finds collection. And I have this little pamphlet here that's Kathy Holden. And these are all of the products that are released with this collection. Um, I only have some. This is the Friendly Society stamp. So you can see you've got some beautiful pieces there. You've got the circle label icon stamps and the miscellany words stamps. Then you have the layered vintage floral stencils. There's three stencils in here that um, kind of make this cute little floral. Then you've got two ephemera packs, the Reward of Merit and Home Arts miscellany printed die cuts. You've got two more sticker pads I have, stationers, stock, and butler's variety sticker pads. And you can see there's just a completely nice mix of all of these different things. This uh, stationer stock is nice to use because it's just a whole bunch of labels that you can stamp that, um, that those sentiment stamps onto. And I'm showing you here, even these circle stamps, they will work well with the little circle or badges that they kind of have in the center here. You can stamp those on there and heat emboss them and they look pretty nice like that. And then you have these strip sentiments that would work in the center of all these little frames that they have in here. And they just all kind of coordinate so very nicely together. So all of those could all work together. And then there's two paper pads that I have. Um, I have the florals palette sampler and the blue green palette sampler. Now the florals have all of these beautiful florals and the papers, some of them have cute um, or actually very nice looking textiles to it. They kind of look like different types of fabric and um, the florals, the, the colors are just stunning. The blue green palette works very well as well. You have a couple florals in there and then all of these other little images and pictures, which I think would work well for masculine cards. So I'm showing you here for card number one. I went ahead and did what I said. I stamped out one of the sentiments in one of those frames and I chose blessings and I'm going to use this as the main sentiment for the first card that I'm going to make, which is going to be using all of Kathy ha Holden's um, products just by themselves. So now that I've got that stamped out, I'm going to go to these um, beautiful papers. And the nice thing about these papers is that they're six by nine inches. So they're pretty large. So you could use them for larger cards, like five by seven cards, or you could use them for smaller cards. And you can probably get two cards out of each of those papers. Now I've got two of these beautiful borders and I don't know what to call them except maybe filigree. They have like a bit of a filigree look to them. And I've stamped one of these borders out twice using um, some Versamark ink and I heat emboss them with some gold embossing powder. Now I actually did cut out both of those strips using my paper trimmer. And now I'm just adding that beautiful paper to my card base. So this card base is five by seven inches and you can see that even this alone with just a beautiful sentiment would be enough. Even if you just wanted to create a quick card with these papers, it would work. But I'm going to go ahead and build up these cards and create a bit of a layered look. Um, I'm taking both of those strips there. As you can see, I'm kind of cutting one down so it's kind of halved there so it can continue the pattern onwards and you're not going to really notice too much of a transition between the two pieces. And I'm just going to cut off the excess here. And you can see that it's got a nice little border now on the left. I've got this other little ephemera piece, which I think it's from one of the die cut packs. I think that that one might be from the Reward of Merit. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, all of the products that I am using in today's video will be listed in my blog, which is listed in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. 
Now, all I really do when I'm putting this together is I tend to kind of take out all of the little pieces of ephemera into a little container. I like to use these little butter tart trays that I have, and I like them because they're, they have a bit more surface area. They're a bit larger and not too kind of um, narrow, so I can actually look at all of the little pieces and spread them out and see what I want to use. And that's exactly what I'm doing with the paper, sorry, the sticker pack here. I'm just kind of going through and looking at all the little stickers and seeing how they might kind of coordinate with the uh, card that I'm creating. Now, coordination is really pretty simple to do with these sets because the collection all coordinates, all the colors kind of go together for the most part, and the look and feel of it is pretty much the same. It has a nice antique um, textile type look, and, and that's exactly what Kathy Holden meant to do, was to bring all of these beautiful antique things that you may find at a flea market and put it all together to create this um, beautiful collection for you guys. So next I'm moving on to the second card. I've got this beautiful floral paper, which is actually from the blue green palette. So that paper pack is pretty versatile. You get some nice blue and greeny um, papers along with a couple florals in there as well. Now this one, I cut the paper before adhering it to the cardstock because I wanted it to have a little bit of a border when I placed it on. And after that, I'm going to figure out what my sentiment is, which was the special sentiment from the Miscellany Word stamp set. And all I'm doing is stamping that out with some VersaFine Clara Nocturne ink, and I'm stamping it into the center of this purple frame. Now, on the previous card, I just used the sticker as it and I, is, and I added some foam squares to the back to give it a bit of rigidity but I found that that wasn't enough and if I did want to end up propping this up with foam this time I wanted to just be a little bit more sturdy the paper for these sticker pads is kind of thin so it's better to be used if you're applying it straight to your cardstock or onto your actual other papers so this is where turning it into a piece of ephemera or maybe a cardstock piece like I just did comes in handy now I have this little flower basket here that is an ephemera piece or a die cut piece that I picked from one of the sets and I did stamp on that little sentiment which is a token of friendship which is also from the miscellany word stamp set and it just seemed to work so nicely on that little label and I, I just love how all of the little pieces actually coordinate so nicely like this. They fit nicely in the little frames and the little areas like this where they have like a label and it just it tends to work. It looks like I didn't even stamp that on there at all that it was already there. Now I also have this friend sentiment which is part of one of the um, the sets the die cut sets so I added that there and then the special on top to indicate special friend. Now I ended up just sticking this flat to the cardstock so I actually didn't need to put it onto hard stock it would have been fine as just a sticker but I didn't know how I was going to use it at first. So now I'm just going through my sticker pad and I'm just kind of picking all of these extra little pieces that I can layer onto the card just to add a bit more interest. And you can see that there's tons of stuff to pick from here. Like I only have one paper or one sticker pack that has all of the major images. The other one tends to have more of the frames and stuff. And it's definitely enough to go through tons of cards. So now I've got the circle label icon um, stamp set and I'm choosing one of these circle labels to uh, heat emboss on this white piece of cardstock here. I hadn't actually used this set yet and I thought I would just add this into one of my cards. I'm just heat embossing it with some more gold embossing powder here and I'm actually going to use a circle punch to cut this out. You could fussy cut it or use any other circle dies that you may have. And I'm just going to prop that up with a bit of foam somewhere here on the card. And by adding this, it just added just a little bit of shine and gloss since I did heat emboss it, which is another layer of interest. So to finish this card off, I added some champagne colored gems. Now, um, Spellbinders dead, does have like a gold mix, which has gems that are colors like this, but I use that pretty sparingly. Now moving on to card number three, I'm using this beautiful floral paper. I absolutely, this was the reason why I wanted this pack because this floral was so stunning. So I added um, adhesive to a five by seven inch card and I stuck the floral on um, particularly where I wanted the certain flowers to show on the card because I would be cutting off the overhanging edges. 
Now I've gone ahead and stamped out the other little filigree stamp and heat embossed it with some more gold um, embossing powder. I did this on purple cardstock and cut that strip out as well to use on this card. I've got another sentiment from the miscellany word stamp set and I am stamping that out with some versifying Claire Fantasia ink. So this is more of a purpley ink which works well with this, um, this background or these flowers here. I'm going to the sticker pad to pick out this beautiful floral border which I thought kind of worked with this card and I've stuck it to the bottom and cut off the overhanging pieces. I'll now attach that filigree piece and, with the embossing and then I'll add the sentiment which I did cut into a flag and I'm adding um, some more of the little ephemera pieces. Um, I was going to add that little piece but decided to add this crown sticker instead because it just worked well with the purple going on in the card. And now I've added one smaller little sticker at the bottom there to finish this card off. Again, I'm adding some more um, gems here. I added some clear white gems to the background and then I also added some gold metallic gems to the crown just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now moving on to the fourth card I'm going to start bringing in some other Spellbinders products here. So this one is pretty simple. I'm using one of the papers from the blue green um, palette paper pad and I heat I eat sorry not heat but I dry embossed it with the optical arches embossing folder from Spellbinders which came out a while ago now I love these folders because they are large and they work perfectly with these larger papers now keep in mind that this paper has like a bit of a fabric look and I find that adding that embossing actually makes it look even more textured so I've also got the happy birthday sentiment, which is from Yana Script Sentiments dies, and I cut that up from some white and gold cardstock. I've also got these beautiful flowers that I've cut out. I've added some, I think I used some salty oceans and peacock feathers there to add some ink there, and also some green oxide inks there for the center, and I've also got some extra leaves that I'm going to add on here, and that's using the peach blossom set, which came out I think a couple months ago from Spellbinders, and I've put all of these little pieces together ahead of time because I just really want to show you how they come together in the end on this beautiful paper supplied by Kathy Holden. Um, I have two strips of glitter cardstock that I've added to the top and bottom here just to kind of frame this card a bit and draw your eye towards the center. I've added those with some foam strips. I've added now the sentiment with some Barely Arts glue and I'm going to stick those beautiful flowers just around the sentiment to add a bit of interest. Now I've got all of these um, little leaves which are from the Peach Blossom set as well and I added color to them with I think I used some maybe pine needles or rustic wilderness and some um, peeled paint and some rusty hinge actually not rusty hinge I think vintage photo either way all of the products that I use the colors that I use for this card are going to be listed in my blog which is linked below which also has coincidentally all of the products which I think I've said before but anyways go ahead and take a look at that if you're looking for any specifics everything will pretty much be written up in my blog or in um, the product section if you're looking for anything in particular now I've added some of these beautiful gems to the centers of the flowers and then again in the background for that card I'll move on to the final card here and for this one I'm gonna keep it a little bit more simple and I've taken this beautiful flower from the sticker pack and again to just make it a bit more rigid and to sit better on my card with foam pieces I'm actually adhering it to some cardstock and then fussy cutting out this beautiful flower. For the background I'm going to be using the mini slimline sweet leaf um, die. This is a cover die for a mini slimline card. I cut it out of some white and some rose gold mirror cardstock by Sizzix and I adhered them together in an offset fashion to create a bit of a shadow and then adhered them straight onto a mini slimline card which is a white card base here. So the background is pretty much all done here. It is nice and intricate. It's got a nice white look to it. And now I'm just going to basically add some of these ephemera and sticker pieces just to add highlights to this card and basically be the focal point. Now I also had this sending birthday wishes sentiment strip which I had um, already foiled and cut out previously but never used. I used the everyday sentiments um, glimmer plate, plate set and the banner die that comes with it to cut that out. I had foiled that in sky bright blue foil.
And these are all of the final cards. Um, so as you see, I have three cards here. That first one, this one is with other Spellbinders products. This next one is just Kathy Holden alone. We've got Spellbinders, other Spellbinders products, and then Kathy Holden alone. So you can see the variety of different looks that you can get with the Kathy Holden collection using the collection alone and along with other Spellbinders dies. So if you're a little bit low on funds this month and maybe you only want to get one or two things, you can still make it work with your current products to create great looking projects. I hope you all have been inspired to use these products yourself. As I've mentioned many times before, everything here is listed in my blog and that's link linked in the description below. Um, if you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.